the hardest working podcast in Portland, Oregon, man. Play no game. What's up, you guys? Welcome to the Play No Games podcast slash show. Uh, and <laughs> I'm one of your hosts, Cartier Bah. About to get bad in the building. Stop saying that. <laughs> CB. <laughs> when I re- no, won't you? BC from British Columbia, Canada out here, eh? Is that a gang? No. Okay, good. British Columbia. Oh, Canada, okay. I was about to say, here, I was like, whoa. Um, I'm Koss, one you. of the other hosts. And I'm Arthur. <laughs> And welcome to, welcome, 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 welcome to the final podcast of 2022. I see the face of disgust. (laughs) Oh, hell no. Interesting. Ooh, good job. I like that. So, <clears throat> hmm. well, now when you say ridiculous things, the mic is going to be like, we got you. Good job, Roadcaster. Yeah, I'm just going to say ridiculous things all the time because, you know, it's, it's cancer season out here. Oh, oh, so you're not afraid anymore. I ain't afraid of nothing. Not that thing. We play no games around here. Not that thing. So, we usually would do a around and play no games, but this is a special time of the year because we recap the year. Uh, We talk about the guests. We talk about all the things, but before we kind of even get to that, I want to pass it to the person who started this tradition. Yeah, which funny tradition. I think we only did it last year. We definitely did it the year before. We definitely did it the year before. Did we? Wow, yes. Yes, Kyle. you were just because <laughs> you guys talked about it when I was there. Yes, you freak. You I only me. remember you getting me a Kirby. That's all I remember. No, we did other things. He wasn't there. That okay, was the either way, time. doesn't matter. It is a tradition, no, nonetheless. Um, we do a little Secret Santa. It is a couple of days now after Christmas. Uh, you know, scheduling and these. And things. it's the new year. And uh, you're watching this. It's after New Year's, but. Secret Santa lives on. It lives on for all of us. If you don't know Secret Santa, we were all had names put in one of the hard hats. Picked the name. That was the person you were getting the gift to. So we all knew who we were giving it to. No one knows who they're getting a gift from, though. Um, With that, should we just get right into it? Yeah. Well, since um, this was this is a you thing, Mm -hmm. I'll let you decide how we should do this. Okay. uh, Really, it comes down to just. Who wants to go first? Um, I'm going to say Arthur. Give your gift first. So give the, your person their gift. Okay. Yeah, uh, he's probably just going to mute your mic anyway yeah. while, you, while you do that. Yeah. All the gifts are on the side, by the way. So, <laughs> so I'm actually, who's the person? Oh, it's me? Oh. That was that was horrible. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, as Andrew opens it, it's not really open, it's just you like you can give a little backstory on you know. We wh- gotta get wh- his mic. Wh- Actually, let's see Andrew open it first, and then you give a backstory why you got it. Off screen stuff. Off screen stuff. Off screen stuff. Yeah. Boots and cats and boots and cats. Got some mind games. Mind Ooh. games. Some some board game. It looks like. Ooh, Ooh okay. brushes, painting utensils. That's cool. I got some colors. And colors. Hey! That's nice. Uh, so, uh, Andrew is definitely into the arts um, aspect of stuff from digital arts to physical arts. He actually did a, a painting or a <coughs> sketch photo for me of B.B. King. Um mm. And so I knew it had to be something in that realm. Uh, originally, I was going to get him a, 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 a Bunko toy. Remember those? Funko. Funko toy. <laughs> but I was like, it really didn't fit him. So um, when I seen that, I, I knew it was something that I felt like he would appreciate and he would use. Um, so that's, that's awesome. why I got that. So. 
Yeah, absolutely. Andrew looks very happy back camera. This is the happiest I've seen. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going. Uh, he's he's about to do front flips here. <laughs> <laughs> that there is no lies detected in that statement. That's the happiest he's been over there. He's like, yeah, yeah finally, like, someone listen. He might open it, start painting while we're talking. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> My paint on the wall. Yeah. I think there's a ca- there's a canvas with the um the paints and the brushes. I think there's a canvas in the back. So that's awesome. Oh, look at that's nice. Uh, wow, that's so plum nice of you. I mean, I, I I've known Andrew for a long time. Uh, he's done something really nice for me, so I thought I would repay the favor and uh, allow him to continue his passion and making beautiful art. So uh, that's awesome. Respect it. I actually, do have to give a shout out to Andrew too as well because like we got some side shit that we're doing. He did but your new profile picture, right? He did. He actually did my new profile that picture. That turned out really cool. I was oh. I was wondering where that came from. Yeah. Okay. So. I'm not, I can't say what I'm doing because um, this person I'm making this for watches the show religiously. So, um, what do you call it? So, I had Andrew make, like, I want to say we were kind of, like, going for, like, incredible art style. More like, uh, what's that Jamie Foxx movie? Django. Soul? Soul? Cost. Shut the fuck up. Django. <laughs> Django. It's a good movie. Django. It's probably his best movie. Cost, we're trying to go into the year not canceled. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> Soul, and like, um, he made an art style of me and my mom. And, um, I thought you weren't going to tell you. That's, I'm, I can def. I'm not saying the other stuff that oh. is going to happen with it, but like, uh, it was really cool seeing her unwrap it for uh, Christmas because she wasn't expecting it, and now they're gonna she's gonna have it hung up in one of our spots in well it's my parents' house but my house, and um, I can't wait for her to see like the because it's like the herald to what's gonna come to it. But like she really liked it. Um, she loves sunflowers, and I like what they did. It was bomb diggity. So if y'all are looking for great artwork, I know a guy. And he's easy to work with, very attentive. So I want to say thank you to Andrew because it turned out phenomenal. Awesome. Okay. I think we can move on. Uh, Arthur, pick the next person. You. Me? Okay. Mute his mic. Mute his mic. Do you want to hand me? uh... Mute their mics. Yes, you're all listening to me now. (laughs) (laughs) Uh oh! Uh oh! Give her, give her I am, uh, oh man, look at look. Well, that's a nice backpack. What do you? What's it called? It's a Patagonia bag I got for my work. There you go. Oh wow! Wow! Very fancy. You had to point it out. So these gifts are for not me this year. Arthur. Ooh! What is that? Put that. You want to throw that over on the side? Thank you. Uh, so oh shit, yeah. Oh shit, Arthur. Something Arthur and I have in common is we're both Baltimore Ravens fans. Uh, these so are, these are dope. <laughs> I, I got him uh, the two Super Bowl patches. What? Yeah, they've only won two Super Bowls. So I thought, you know what? Let's uh, let's support my guy here. Uh, get him some Super Bowl patches. Ninety nine is when I fell in love with the Baltimore Ravens. This was two thousand and one. What? So. Mm-hmm. You can't even say I'm a bandwagon Ravens fan. 99, the 99 oh, yeah. draft was my year for Ed Reed, Ray Lewis, and all of them to join the Super Bowl Ravens. So, you know, this is dope. You went over the budget. Uh, Okay, I will say, normally they're 20 a piece. <laughs> I had I had some eBay bucks. I, I, hit, I hit the budget with the eBay bucks. Oh, so you, so you, so you really yeah. like him. I, I I was like I can't get him one of the Super Bowl patches. Literally. They literally they have two Super Bowls. MVP two thousand one Ray Lewis. See the second team is more of like along the era of I I fell in love around twenty ten. So Joe Flacco for me I always loved Joe Flacco Ray Rice. There it is. My heart. <laughs> oh my gosh. I want you next year. <laughs> because whoever I got up, I, I kept the budget. Check the back too. It's got all the stats on the back. Literally every play on the drive. That was a great Super Bowl too. The uh, Ravens 49ers in twenty thirteen. Yeah. The power goes out. Everything. Our bowl. 
The hardball. Show the yeah. people. Show the people. Can we get a close up as best we can? Obviously, I know it's not going to be perfect. Okay. Okay. There you go. Damn. Yeah, this is, I'm framing this. I'm happy like him, man. I'm framing this. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> At first, I thought it was like some fitness thing where like, hey, you should do a jumping jack. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's I'm, 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 I'm definitely framing this. I'm not going to take the patches out. I'm going to frame this. Yeah. Awesome. There you go. That's That will actually make him super happy. <laughs> like, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's yeah. you're like that. I'll probably go pick up a frame tomorrow. Like, that's type, dope. Type oh, shit. Yeah. Mm. That's awesome. That's dope. Thanks. All right. Of course. Damn, uh, look what you're doing. Spreading cheers and jeers. I'll pass it over to RJ. Who's going to mute his mic? <laughs> AJ's playing Santa. He is. He definitely is. <laughs> of course it's me. Da, 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 da. Whoa, this is kind of heavy. Oh. Ugh, I've been naughty. <laughs> I have. Um, <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> this is oh. hilarious. <clears throat> I, 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 I am a size thirteen when it comes to. Okay. So what's what, what's the first one? What's the first socks? The anime I have, socks. I have some Dragon Ball Z authentic Super Saiyan God level socks. Are those dance socks? Bio World, but they feel Even better. Good. Feel that. Feel that. Very cool. You got blue hair, go ah, blue hair, Vegeta. <laughs> Not the Brooklyn Nets. No. <laughs> I got Brooklyn Nets socks. This. Wait. I love the pad. He got the bottom. I love it. I His love favorite it. favorite basketball team. Um, yeah. You know, because Katie's there currently. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then. Um, um, crack. <laughs> that's why. That's why I felt happy right there. A big the old bag. Wait, this is, smells good. Wait, it's open already. No, like, <laughs> you know how you were saying that mics were smelling good? Yeah, like candles. Yeah, this like, is, smell that. Like, this smells like. It's got you something know, on it. Yeah, it's yeah. got some like candle residue on it. <clears throat> I'll just say <laughs> thank you so much. Like, I have from like the holidays, I have so much sour presses. It's going to last me to like March. You are all saving me so much money. <laughs> like you guys understand. I buy a bag a week. Are you, are you serious? Like right now? Show the toes. No, no toes on camera. I'm not. A, <laughs> no toes on camera. That's fine. Uh, you have the backup on you? I do have the backup on you. Oh, my goodness. Can I, just see, <laughs> uh, can I see the backup? No, you cannot see the backup. What happens to the backup if he doesn't get it? Oh, I'm Andrew gets <laughs> it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> what? Is it a different anime? It's a different thing completely. But I, I just like to see it. I actually want to see the backup. I, I'm not going to give you the option. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Okay. So I'll, I will try them on afterwards. No feats on the camera. Blur him. <laughs> Feet not on camera. See, I, when I am giving our lovely speech, I will try these on. Thank you so much. I'm wearing the shit out of these. Y'all see what Kyrie and KD and Ben been doing lately? No, no nothing. Okay. I know they're what? They won 10 in a row now? Yes, yeah, sir. Thank you. Thank you. That's a regular season. Now. I obviously got you, RJ. You're the last person. Andrew has to give his gift to Oh. Oh. Do you want to be last? Well, I well, fucked okay, it up, guys. Will be last. <laughs> okay. I clearly fucked it up, you guys. <laughs> um, well, I'm surprised. I lied. Yeah. I actually have you. That's such a lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a lie. Damn it. I didn't do math. Com- I didn't do math correctly. You didn't. And I'll <laughs> just go, fuck it. Uh, so, I did put some effort into this. I stay within budget. I stay within budget, too. I just use a credit, or a little bit of store credit. I, not you, RJ. Seriously. I think you're really going to like this. <laughs> oh, are you sure we? Are we sure he don't doesn't already own it? I don't own the 
I know he doesn't own it. <laughs> because when people talk about all, my hero, and especially with the pops, because I was talking to a person, <laughs> they go to the main cast first, and they don't do <clears throat> the, um, not the senior heroes, but the, uh, do you have your Red Torino? Oh, no, I don't. I have Red Torino, but I have a lot of obscure characters from. Oh. So you, got, so you got lucky, Rob. I got lucky, <laughs> and it's a limited, and it's a whatever, whatever it's a the person GameStop said. edition? No, I didn't get it from GameStop, you yeah, freak. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. no. Collection. No, GameStop edition is a legit thing, too. We'll I know. I, I know. I'm talking with you. But no. <laughs> I also got, because I had two options to choose from. One, we were talking about My Hero. And in so many ways, you're my hero. So I had to get oh. Grand Torino. Oh. That's so you're nice. You're teaching me the ways of the soundboard. <laughs> Slowly. That's a nice gift. That's a nice gift. Yeah, I want to be added to your Hall of Fame. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll add it to the Yeah. So uh, I also got you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know who got me a gift now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't spoil it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was like, we're done doing it. Nice. Whoa. Nice. It's wrapped nicely. It's a two parter. I love two parters. If it's a movie, I'm going this is to laugh. It's wrapped so nicely, too. Damn. No. Babes in toilet. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be perfect. Uh, Don't expose yourself. Take credit. Okay. Myself, Ooh. But, uh, Sour Patch Kids box. Ho- holiday edition. Hmm. Holiday edition. Fire. Awesome. You're a Sour Patch Kid person too? Yeah. I didn't know that. Fitting gift for what I'm going to be saying to you both. And in Later. this box, there is a... <gasps> oh my god, Andrew knows me. It's a little soccer ball. He's going to put this on his little mantle. No, it's just size. <laughs> no, it's, it's just my size. It's a size one, yeah. I actually love these. Uh, I ha- I actually I have the World Cup edition. So this is awesome because this is the MLS edition. So this is perfect. There's a signature on it. Uh, from the commissioner. That's dope. Uh, no, this is like a kid's ball. Like, you use it in, like, inside your house. An indoor ball is about size three. Legit ball is five. Wow. So, yeah. Thank you, Andrew. Awesome. We really pay attention to each other. More than we think, guys. And, Cost, why did you, why did you want to start this tradition? Because I think it's something really nice. Whether, you know, it doesn't have to be a big budget. It's more about the thought, in my opinion. Uh, think... Thinking about that person, knowing what they're into, uh, getting something that is somewhat thoughtful, and then ultimately, you know, with a little surprise, I think, you know, it's a perfect little combination of a nice little, nice little treat to uh, yeah, one of one of other uh, each other. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I lost my tongue there. Um, no, I, I, I gotta pay homage because when you first did it, and you were like, "Hey, Robin, it was just me and you." You're like. <laughs> you were like, let's do this. Where like, it's it's so important for us to have like team building and like, I appreciate all of y'all because I I'm so like vision vision. We're like, hey, once we get here, we could have more days like this. We just gotta get there first. And I appreciate costs reminding me that we still gotta do some of these things. Um, and that's why I don't care how busy we. We will ever be. We'll always make time. And I also want to give a shout out to AJ too as well because he's been talking about some team building things too as well uh, when it comes to the Blazer game. Remember? Mm-hmm. I I know my mind moves like 10 billion speeds, like, but like I know that's something you brought up maybe like a couple months ago and getting us all together. And that's something that, you know, hopefully we could have to do a couple more times next year. So I want to say... Thank you for doing this. And I'm not going to lie. I love my gift. Likewise. Uh, thank you to everyone for taking it seriously. Not getting yeah. a gag gift. 
<laughs> I, got, I got a gag gift. One Fuck year you got me a gag gift. I was like, Fuck <laughs> off. Uh, I legitimately almost got Robert a thong, like a Christmas thong. So. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty close. Uh, Pretty there's close nothing wrong. The there's nothing wrong with gag gifts, but you gotta know that the, you know you're exchanging gag gifts beforehand. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, oh, oh. But uh, yeah, thanks everyone for you know. I think these are all really great gifts. I, I, I must say, like. Mine changed from Andrews. Like, I was going to get him something else. Mm. And then when I seen that, I was like, I got to get him this. Like, that was, like, a, a thing for me. I was like, absolutely. So I, I, I do appreciate this opportunity to really, like, the expression. Like, even that, your expression towards me caused that. It was like, I would never even thought that was something that you would you would get me. So it was like, that was super dope. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Uh, where are we at with time? Twenty. Okay. Well, okay. Right, we're on pace. We're doing great. Mm -hmm. Um. So at this moment in time, also RJ and Andrew, feel free to join in the conversation at any time. This is just as much as ours as yours. Even though lots of people don't get to see you, but if you are a faithful subscriber and follower, you actually saw the guys who really are the backbone of the show. Cause they have a dope show. Shameless plug. Facts and credits. Please follow, like, comment, subscribe to guys. I would love for them to get on camera, but if not, I understand our current setup will be evolved and having them on screen will be definitely more easier next year if they want. So at this time, before we talk about 2023, we got to talk about 2022. This was a big year for our show. Mm -hmm. I know people hear me a lot, but I want to open it up to y'all. What was 2022 like for the Play No Games podcast? What were your highlights? What was a down moment? What was your favorite moment? What comes up for y'all? Uh, There's two episodes that I particu particularly like request people to see. One was the Scooter Riders episode. I think just the energy of the Scooter Roberts episode was just phenomenal. Um, the context of what things were said were like, were mouthful. Um, and it, it was a, a, a good show to watch. You get it. You got a good laugh out of it too. So it, it was just a, a, a taste of some of the aspects that uh, we get to show on here. The other one was the Eric Knox episode. Um, just from who he represents, what he represents, what he brings, um, and what type of person he is. I think he brought a different type of charisma to the show. I think Eric Knox was a, he brought like a different type of charisma to the show that I think also allowed us to represent ourselves in a different space. Um, but I, I have to shout out uh, Gabby Dixon. She uh, she went out to uh, London um, and was, first off, she set the record or she set a standard. Um, she was the second top world class athlete out there in one of the events, um, which it was all men and women competing in the same event. She took second, um, which was hella dope. Um, That's awesome. You know, and she... She helps oh, yeah. her team. Uh, I think they they won the tournament out there. So United States, I think, won the the whole thing. But uh, then on top of that, she competed uh, a few weeks ago, Rainier in Washington, and uh, set a standard out there too as well. So Gabby was also on our show. Strong woman, competing. You know, check her out. She's she's an amazing woman. So. Cool. Uh, what's funny, the episodes, the people he mentioned, that's what I'm, where my mind went to. Uh, the two episodes I recommend to people are the Eric Knox one and the Gabby Dixon one. And also on the Gabby Dixon one is that was the first episode where I had people I knew, just like, you know, like friends from other places that know I do this, being like, oh, you had Gabby on your podcast? And I was like, yeah, how do you know Gabby? Yeah. They're like, oh, Gab, like I work with Gabby. Or like, oh, I know Gabby from this and that. And like, like that was the first person that like, they're like, oh, you had this person on your podcast? So that one was like a, whoa, okay. Like, 
cool. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't like, I, I didn't know that. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I think a huge highlight is just the team's grown. The team's grown. You stole that. We're, we're, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, someone had to say it. Uh, I, I, I was. We're, we're a five man crew now running it. Um, well, I identify as a man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say the other thing. Okay. <laughs> Please go, Robert. What did you find? No, great continue, about this continue, continue. No, no, just uh, yeah, we have a five man crew. I think um, we we got a really good teamwork going on right now. Um, and yeah, I look forward to what kind of this breeds in the next year. Um, I would say for me, some of my highlights. Um, you guys already mentioned Gabby. Uh, you all, you guys already mentioned Scooter, Eric. Those were those were good ones, and I and. Before I mention any other guests and things like that, <clears throat> I think why those are really good episodes is because in this day and age, the like quality and like solidarity of like dope people doing dope things don't get highlighted. Like you got to do something super negative or weird where like, I know Gabby's doing her thing, Eric's doing her thing, all the people are doing the thing. And like, I feel like that really truly embodies what our show is about where we're giving spotlights to people who are trying to foster like dope relationships with other people. Not saying that our other guests haven't at all. It's just like, you look at this light where I'm like, yo, like, why are we not talking more about Eric? You know what I'm saying? Like he's doing a lot of great things. Like Gabby, she's doing a, because they have that energy of like, I want to help other people. And, like, that's, like, so, like, contagious. And that's what this show is supposed to be. And, like, I've been, like, really playing for, like, the words of, like, what this show is about. Because everyone asks me, like, what's this show? What's the show? You talk about relationships. You talk about this. Talk Like, this is, like, the ultimate hangout. When I say, like, the ultimate hangout, when you're at the ultimate hangout with people, you talk and you shoot the shit about relationships. Ultimate Hangout, you do talk about your political views. Ultimate Hangout, you do talk about things you want to do in life. Because when you are with close people and you are hanging out with them, you're trying to grow as a person. So anyone who comes in here, we're really trying to take from you, how can we grow and be better people? And I feel like all of our guests we had on here really touched all those different nodes you would have in your brain. All the way from, we had a lot of people. Mm-hmm. We, I like, I'm like going through my head. Like last year, I was able, I was able to like list off all of them. But this year, I don't think I can. Like there were yeah. so many. And, and I feel like we have to mention, like, just, you know, we can't, we can't talk about all of them. Yeah. But honestly, just anyone that was it came out and came out here, decided to devote an hour and a half, two hours to talking to us. I mean, you also got to, you also got to remember, we were also in like 10 different places. Oh! <laughs> We went from uh, the the one center to the uh, pull ups at uh, uh, downtown. Uh, pull up at what's his name's apartment uh, a few times. Oh, Kevin Brantley's apartment. Kevin Kevin's, Bradley. Uh, Capital. We pulled up in the other hotel. Remember the other apartment we pulled up in? All three of us. It was like the concrete walls. That was uh, Bradley's uh, on MLK. No. No, nope. that was a different place. It was a different place. It was someone. I think Bradley got us in, but it was some. It was like a random. Oh, that was um Kevin's place. Oh, that Kevin's Kevin's. Uh, Kevin's actual place. Okay, yeah, They're mm-hmm. like a uh, common area. Yep. Oh, that was. Oh my. It was like cement, and then there was yeah. windows. That was like I think what that was like the second week. Mm. That was like in January. That or was something. like when I first met Kevin. Or February. That was around mm. that time. That was January. That was January. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was around that was when, like, I, I first met Kevin. And we ap- that was after we did the one in Capitol with Aaron. It was another <laughs> great one. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we've done so many episodes in so many different places from when we did the Child Center with all those different guests there. Oh, we were the Barbara battle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then the Barbara battle. Oh, like, man, we were everywhere. Remember our first episodes is we mm-hmm. pull up at your mama's house, your grandma's house. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> now now we're in the studio. True. So it's crazy. I actually want to speak to some of that. I want to say shout out to Koss because no, seriously, I, we obviously, if you put tunes together, that's, you know, you're a loyal listener, but like, I still 
want to have like a designated like studio because <clears throat> they got their thing they're working on. You have your thing that you're working on. Jamal has his things that he's working on. And like, I want, for me, I, I want to have separation where I'm like, I don't mind doing this for as it is right now, but like, I would love to have a space where, because we're all multi creators. So we need a multi space where it's like, all right, we can come here. Y'all do your stuff. We do because we're literally trying to build a company. And I will say until that day gets a little bit more closer. Shout out to cost. This was a great cost effective idea that we were rolling out and doing. And like, we can low key still pack up and go to, um, uh, what's his name? Renly? With no, the one in downtown. No, 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 no. He's got all the kids. Underdog mentality. Oh, Tyler. We, we could pack it up and go to Tyler's place. You know what I'm saying? Like oh. we did, we did him. We did like, you, Tyler? I, I thought about that one too, which was a, a t- another episode. Like we were everywhere, and I think um those ideas is gonna you know propel us because we are growing. So I want to say shout out to you because. Great idea. Now, no, Robert, studio. shout out to you for funding it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Finally, my flowers. <laughs> I, yes. For I, funding <laughs> it and for having the space available. Yeah, because we're in a magical place that we won't mention. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, so shout out to you, Robert, for making just what was a dream a reality. Mm, sarcasm is heavy. I can't speak without it. <laughs> no, I know you can't, you, you dirty bastard. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm so glad you. Yeah, we did move around a lot. So many episodes. Remember, we did your cousin. Uh, pause. Uh, <laughs> pause. <laughs> I guess can't. I was just. Who did we do with the purple cousin. background? Cousin. What maybe it wasn't your cousin? Your friend from a uh, long time ago. Uh, we had the purple flower in the background. Are you talking about Herschel? Herschel. I think the, I thought that was your cousin. No, I almost oh. feel like still the craziest place we filmed those. They, they, no, we went to that chick's apartment once. Desi was it? Desi? That wasn't crazy. Desi's was Desi? like family. Where we had That's that an actual. Where we had room. that like, yeah, drape Desi, as yes. his background. <laughs> <laughs> Desi is family. Desi yeah. is family. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm going to say. The. Funniest moment of the podcast show for me was literally, I got to remind y'all the story. So I was driving downtown oh, <laughs> and, shit. and I saw a bunch of white kids dancing. I saw <laughs> such a made up story. <laughs> it's not a made up story, guys. I saw a it's white not a made up story, but a lot of it is fabricated. <laughs> <laughs> not fabricated. I saw one of them. They were doing like a little dance circle, and the one on the outside dropped it low. <laughs> I said, "Who's this?" And then I looked to my left. Literally, his face was hilarious when I saw him. It was because I was like, the, "Make the face." I was like. Cause if Julie, I mean, if your sister saw you doing that, she'd do the same thing. She'd be like, you, you had your window rolled, you stuck your hand out, you looked at me like, uh huh. I was oh, like, yeah, this yeah, is what yeah, we doing. <laughs> For the people who didn't know about this episode, can you uh, reenact what Cost was maybe doing? Because I believe he did that during the episode. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, run it back, <laughs> run it back. Just so the people know. So I know the mic. The mic can pick me up still, right? I turned it on. We can try our best. Oh, so once again, roll out the window. The kids were like, "Oh yeah!" And then you see this one kid. He goes, "Bam!" I said, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, oh, I'll do it again because I had flashbacks from time to time. He says, "They're like, oh, oh yeah, yeah." And he goes, "Bam!" I said, "Whoa!" <laughs> I was like, "Where they do that like that at?" Mm-hmm. I was like, "If you ain't got a girl." Let me show them the tape. <laughs> the tape. I, know, I know how you be seducing them. <laughs> Just that easy. <laughs> that was my favorite moment. That was your favorite oh, moment. God. Yeah, reporting about what you do when you're not on the show. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, my favorite moment might be 
the rotisserie rounds or the carousel rounds we had with your nickname. Oh my gosh! What was the first one? The <laughs> love, love sensei, right? <laughs> and then what was after that? It, it all, it's all such it a was blur. true love. True love. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> true love. Didn't love sensei. Y'all, then. you are only saying this because I dropped the drop it like it's hot. It's no, okay. this was actually my favorite. I was literally talking to Roswan about this yesterday on PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I can be and a now, topic of conversation. Now it's, it's, uh, it, it was like work in progress. It was, it, was, was work in now? progress was another one. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> DB it was the titter bob. Yeah. The titter bob. Uh, that could actually stay. That's funny to me. <laughs> uh, oh, and now it is what it is. Party ear bob. Yeah. Ear Stop bob. saying that. <laughs> Before they actually be like, look here, I, I'm trying, I, I, I'm not trying to pay no fucking I'll, games. I will, I'll call you that name when I see you wear some, some, some Cartier, you know. I, I'm definitely getting that. Like, let's get you, let's get you a tank. My, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? The Cartier tank. The wrist, the watch, the watch. No, I'm it's one like, of my favorite watches. I, I'm, I'm gonna get that. That's on my books. Okay. I'm definitely gonna get that watch now, and then, like, um, how, how our, much do you think that watch is? Probably like twenty G's. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something low. No, I know, I know. No, it's, it's like three, three thousand. Yeah, that's that's very graspable in my next like five six years of life. I yeah. definitely think I can do that. I'm dead ass getting a Cartier bracelet. That one that uh, Sarah told me about for me and my future wife, wherever you at. We're back. We're gonna get matching. We already know who that is. Who? Huh. Oh no, she fumbled the bag. I asked him about it this, this, today, but we had a suspicion. Oh yeah, she was being extra. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk after. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah fumbled back. But anyway, but yes. <laughs> what about <laughs> what about you, AJ? What was your? Uh oh man. Uh. Honestly, there's so many moments, I think, that really, like, I think it, it, this year, especially since Andrew and RJ joined, and I think it's, a lot of it is the, the construction comments that, <laughs> that, like, kill me. Uh, <laughs> They're trying to take apart the studio. They They want to put a hole in the wall, and it's, like, every time it's something that comes out of nothing. Like we, we we be talking about something random and then be like, yeah, we can just put a hole right here in the wall. We'd be good. Like <laughs> we're still waiting by the way. <laughs> it's always like the slide comments. It's, it's, I think there's such a, uh, like joy coming and being around people who enjoy these moments too. So I think it's just, uh, man, I always have a, a, a good time. So, there is something about that quick, like, 10, 15 minutes before we start. All the side comments, mm-hmm. all the little slides. Yeah, yeah sneak disses. The sneak disses. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah, it gets us all in the mood. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, th- it's so funny. When I was editing uh, the last episode, I was just like, I was like, uh, hopefully RJ and Andrew know that I will also put out a sniper bullet on them. Like, <laughs> like I, I know this is a community thing because – I think I got like when we. Oh, it's oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All I'll just have to say is when I was editing the uh, the uh, the critics in play no games like episode the very first like five minutes I was like if you like really pay attention and zoom in on me I'm like these niggas don't know that I'm going to have jokes for them too. Like, <laughs> like I was just like, y'all just can't come at me mad aggressive. Like y'all know the people that raised me, they're horrible people. I was playing. I love y'all, but <laughs> <laughs> you can have your round two eventually. Oh no. Round, like y'all can get jokes here, there, his show, his future show. Like y'all go get these jokes, but it just felt good to, um, like AJ was saying, it was just, and cost too as well. Just so much fun side jokes and side disses. I will let you know during our planning meeting yesterday, me and Andrew were talking about you. We did say, like, we were dissing on you. We're like, wait, he's a really nice guy. Mm-hmm. So we did drop that you were really nice and we kind of stopped. And I am. picked it back up. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'm a. I'm a, play, an a asshole, asshole and a player with a heart of gold. Like. Huh? 
No, I, I'm an asshole and a player with a heart of gold. Hi. Huh? How are you going to get married but you're a player? Um, Because the heart of gold tells me that you need to settle down. The player's got to retire at some point. Exactly. <laughs> and the <laughs> asshole is, I know enough when to like, it's just how I operate in the world. If people meet me with like positive energy, I'm going to meet you with positive energy. If I see you're not being your best, I'm going to try to lift you up. But don't get it twisted. My spirit animal is a bear. If you keep fucking with me, <laughs> I'm going to be like, I'm going to, I'm going to say, ridic- I'm, I'm going to say things to hurt you because you're trying to hurt me because clearly, obviously I do subscribe to this. I'll say this. Michelle says that when they go low, you go, when they go low, you go high. Sometimes you got to go medium and be like, all right, <laughs> what? <laughs> you do got to go medium. Like sometimes you got to let them know. Yeah. But you're a hurt lover and that's why we love you. A hurt lover. No, I'm not. No, what? It, you're you're a born lover. All the bullying that you endured earlier in life. I'm a certified made lover you, boy. Made, made huh? you hardened. I'm, I'm a certified lover boy. No, you're certified not. Boy not lover. if you're a player. You're not a certified lover boy. That don't make sense. That's why I asked. That don't, that don't make no I'm sense. I'm hypocrisies. <laughs> <laughs> what are y'all doing over there? They're 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 playing they're saying jokes. So my favorite part. <laughs> 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 It's the fact I got invited to be a part of this show in my first episode with Anthony Taylor. And I had, I had fun listening to his stories. And I always remember sitting there. I don't remember Anthony Taylor. We've seen a lot of people. The photographer for Nike and Jordan. And he was in a rock band. And Oh, we had him on this year, too. Yeah, Damn. Like, oh, oh, yeah. You were just you were just watching that one. No, no. Oh, oh no. You first day on the board. Yeah. Okay. Good job. I remember I brought headphones. We were at, we were at what's his name studio. Yeah. 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 I remember bringing headphones and Robert's like, oh, you brought headphones. Great. I did it. <laughs> well, how else am I supposed to bring a sound? <laughs> 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 so that was my favorite, like being a part of that and being with Anthony Taylor and sitting there. Yeah. Shout out to AT, bro. Uh, yeah, good stories. What about what about Yasa? Yes, Yasa, Yasa, the dancer. No, the the your f- old friend Yasa. Yes, the who runs the the studio? No, 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 no. A chick we had in the studio. Um, it was me and you. Um, Ooh. Jasmine? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Jasmine, 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 yes. <laughs> Jasmine. Yeah, another fellow mental health warrior that I will not say her exact job. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She'll actually, she's actually going to be on very soon next year. Wow. Okay. Up. Yeah. She, lots, awesome. lots of change. Um, can we kick it to uh the fact dragon? Hello. I think it's on. What do you want? Any favorite moments, bad moments you want to tell the crew? Well, not about the fucking hole <laughs> in the wall. Man, if you'd give me a second here. <laughs> Good moment was being invited on uh, back in July or so. Right. To, to, to help you guys out with the, the video and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, by I think it was AJ that, that invited me on. Uh, so yeah, being able to, to join you guys and, and see what you guys do, uh, that's been an absolute blast. Uh, m- one of my favorite bits was honestly like the hair gods show mm. and getting like the, the on the street interviews and, and stuff like that. And, and people's opinions, like, like while they're at the event and, and, and just kind of live there, that, that was kind of a really cool thing for me. So mm. I knew I forgot something. I'm so glad you brought that up. We actually were a highlight for a lot of people because Mike got to my hair. Uh, we had fucking Mike on. I fucking forgot about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people um, mentioned, like, they're like, oh, are you guys going to be there next year? 110% doing it next year. And I'm like, even though we weren't working at full capacity, just, I, and we, and do y'all remember when that Jason guy? Yeah. He got second place and like we literally helped him. Like he was like, I was so nervous before. I, like that, that was a highlight. Like he felt so yeah. empowered just being on the show. And then we had all those 
people come on the show. We had all those lady barbers, the other dude. Can't release those, but um, yeah. <laughs> we had we had a, a whole bunch of people that day pull up and have conversation with us. Um, that was dope. That was a super fun opportunity and, and a fun, ex- good experience. So it was super dope. So, uh, where are we at time wise? Forty five. Wow. Okay, we're doing perfect. Um, what's what's uh wrap things up? We don't have. We're not. This episode's not gonna be too long, but heading into twenty twenty three, I do want to go last. Um, but I'm just curious, where where y'all want the show to be in a year? Because I'm keeping a band. When this comes out, this will be episode 83. We'll literally have, I'm going to use math, 17 17 episodes before our 100th episode. So um, That's crazy to think about. That's literally like a a, a milestone that a lot of people don't even make it to. They don't make it to 100. And like we got, we literally have better views. But that, I don't know. But I'm curious, what are y'all wanting for the show? Going forward for 2023. Y'all want to go first? I'm going to go this Make way. an opt. You can opt in or out. I'd like to say, let's get those donations pumping. Oh! Ooh. Let's get those donations pumping. And also, let's help uh, Robert put the hole in the wall finally. Yes, <laughs> amen. And get a couple more subscribers and followers and <laughs> listeners and all the yeah. great people out there. I think <clears throat> I'll go next. Um, I think for me, like um, response, I think, uh, I mean, good, bad, ugly, whatever, whatever the response may be. I think the engagement for me um, is important. I think being able to have these conversations to understand that people, we know people are listening, but like be a part of it. Make it so that you can feel yourself sitting in the seat and be a part of the show. Um, I think that's important to like, to like recognize like these conversations are, these conversations are literally for you and for us. And we want you to be a part of that. So engagement for me, I would love to see more engagement within the show. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, I would like to see, a little more growth on the YouTube aspect. Uh, and we have been growing a lot on YouTube. I was actually looking at the views earlier today. We're consistently around 50 views now. Uh, so I'm breaking into the hundreds, which is awesome to see. Shout out, of course, Andrew. Thumbnails. Killing it. Killing the game. Cold-blooded. Oh, he's going to hate me after this show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have but, uh, upgrades. <laughs> we, you know, we put a lot of effort into the video aspect of things. I think it's honestly it's like half of our show, really. Um, so I would love to see the YouTube aspect continuously growing since that is where we're putting a lot of effort in as, and I say that too, because we're like, we're slowly seeing the growth. I just like to see the continuation of that growth, uh, as we hit that milestone of a hundred episodes. Before I go into like 20, 23 stuff, I kind of want to just say thank you to the viewers. Um, I'm not going to forget this because I can't say what's going to happen next year, but I feel like something really good's going to happen for the show. I'm not going to say we're going to go viral. I'm not going to say anything like this, but I feel you like already went viral. What we act, we were viral on Instagram. True. <sighs> I'll just say, gee, actually quick side note, shout out to we actually, we had 20 K 21 K. That that was nice. That was nice. We, we have good content. We just need better marketing. Um, I just want to say thank you to the, uh, viewers. Um, we're 72 subscribers strong and I know we all talk about, we want more, Mota. we want more and more. Um, but I think before I say anything, I want to say thank you to all of you because we wouldn't have made it this far without all of you because we've been doing this like, Oh, our birthday on YouTube is actually like December 23rd. Oh, interesting. It's so I don't. It's weird how they did it, but mm-hmm. we've been doing this for like two years, my guy. Damn. And I'll just say, no matter where this goes, where it takes us, um, 
not just me. I know we're all pretty thankful. So I want to say thank you to the subscribers and the viewers. If you ever watch the show, like I'm just a kid from Portland. <laughs> I'll try to mimic LeBron. Okay, great. Um, maybe I'll do KD get better reaction. Mom, you the real MVP. Damn, you guys. Damon Lillard had a really nice speech the other day. Oh, did you go to that game? I didn't go to it. No, I watched the interview that, or his uh, little speech about it. Oh, I, uh, did one you of go? my fr- no, one of my friends offered me tickets though, but I, I didn't go. Couldn't go. Um, shout out that guy, man. Anyway, my goal. Dang. To- oh, my bad. <clears throat> what championship does he have? One of these things look like <laughs> like the other. One of these things. Can but he has one, and is he getting more? No, and he has more than Damian Lillard. But anywho, it's not about being a sports podcast, which we've adopted <laughs> over the years. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would say for twenty twenty three, um, what I would want for us is to truly stay true to us, because um. AJ brought a pretty good point. One of our clips did go viral and we got the responses that we know we should get. And I just hope when we get to where we're going, we stick to what we've always been doing, being the ultimate hangout, the ultimate place where we could build. And I would say, um, I'm ready for the changes and I'm ready to be more aggressive with our show. Cause I'll be honest as much as I've told all of you to like, Oh, we got to promote, we got to promote. I've thought to myself, we can't fully promote if we're not doing all the things I know we can be doing. And that's even on me too, as well. So all these th- new changes that you guys will be seeing next year, or this is next year as, as I'm speaking, know that we are doing this from what we've already originally done and um we're just trying to make it a space for people who live in this world and know it could be so simple as just hanging out on a couch shooting the shit because the world does try to bring you down people's behaviors do try to bring you down but if you got four to five solid people you have a dollar in a dream Anything is possible. Anything is possible. So, well, as we start 2023 off strong, this is Cartier Bob. This is Koss. Shout out to the lovely listeners. We hear you. You hear us. It's Arthur. Peace. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're done. Uh, probably wonder if I think of you. Sorry, I'm for the bag right now. Yeah, I'm for the bag right now. Yeah, for the bag that I never had. Yeah, you probably mad right now. Yeah, I got a two piece now. Oh, shit, I think they call them groupies now.